Hi everyone, this is Mr. No. So in this video, I will show you how you can create a mobile app that is Android and iOS app from scratch. So this will take normally take months of effort with iOS developer or an Android developer. So now you can do that in few minutes and you can launch it in the App Store and Play Store in few minutes. So I will show you end to end how to do it. So you need to come to this platform. So I have I will leave a affiliate link in the description below. You can directly sign up or you could use that to sign up. But if you use that to sign up, uh, I will help you uh, with setting up of the app and you can ask me questions and I will uh, reply to all your uh, questions in setting up this app. So you can check that out in the description below. So now I will show you how you can create a mobile app using this. So now once you log into this platform, you can uh, click on here and put any prompt. So let's say I want to make a Airbnb style app. Okay, so let's say create an Airbnb style home screen with a search. So I have put in that prompt filters for dates, guest and scrollable. So I'm just trying to make something like an Airbnb. So now you can see it has started coding it. So once the coding is complete, I can install this app. You can install Expo Go app. This is where you can test your app before publishing it into Play Store. You can test that for iOS and you can test that for Android also. So you can download it and you can test that from there. Now, as you can see in the behind the scenes, it has started coding the Airbnb style property rental app. So this is not a mock-up. This is an end-to-end -end application. So you can see how the coding is done. This is the layout. So these are the images that it has collected. So this is an end-to-end -end app. It is trying to build from scratch. So once it has started come building all those things, it this preview will be there where I can go and see how it works. So once it is complete, when the app is complete, I can uh, see this is the live view. I can go ahead and publish it in App Store and Play Store. So first I will publish if it's in the case of App Store, I will publish it in test flight, which is like a testing area for beta users. After that, I can go into full production mode. So now you see the app has already started creating multiple tabs behind the scene. You can see how it is creating various tabs. So it is creating the search bar, it is creating the filter bar, it is creating the rating module, it is creating the properties page, it is creating profiles, it is creating an inbox kind of thing for messaging with the properties and customer owners, Cu property owners and customers. You can have a wish list, uh, it's, it has created the layout, the color. So everything that is required for an Airbnb style property rental app, it is started creating it. So this is the property card that is creating. So normally when a developer is creating this app they will have to code everything from scratch which each of these thing will be something like a work item for a developer so there might be multiple developers so this might be a small work item that they take it and fix with people charging as close to 100 to 150 dollars for a native ios programming so everything is built in react native and using ai and ai does it everything on its own you just have to create that prompts so it is more than just using AI. It is all about creating it from scratch. Everything, you just have to write the prompt. Now you have free messages left daily. So based on that, you can optimize it. You can ask it for changes. So now I'm not asking it for any changes because I want it to be very simple. Now, once I ask for the changes, then based on that, it will make the modification in the app. Then after everything is done, uh, I can just publish it into the App Store or Play Store. So you see this, it has ended up. So the design follows Airbnb screen. So it's it's just reloading it. The app just crashed like it crashes normally. So now you see it has created the app. You can see the listing. These are the houses. So it has picked images, stock images from the web and put it here. So this is apartments, as you can see. This is cabins. This is beachside, countryside. 
it has filters so filters is coming soon i think in the coding part it has just left it out so if i want to search for anything i can search for that so it is still in the coding phase i guess i have created airbnb style rental lab with a beautiful clean design the app includes the following so it will just come you give it some time and it will load okay so i can ask it to make those changes and it will make those changes so if i go inside this let's see let's go inside this and see okay this is the apartment so this is the preview of it so now i will ask the app for different changes once all the changes have been complete i can directly publish it so there is actually code sitting behind it for each module you can see the code so you may not be able to get past that in just one go you will have to i have just put one single prompt so i will have to put multiple prompt to build the final application as you can see but this is a great way to make an app and publish it in play store or app store i hope this information is useful thank you very much subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update